today I'm going to be doing a braided hairstyle and I have started by making a center part and then I'm going to be making Dutch braids. If you would rather do regular French braids, you can do that instead. So normally I would probably center this braid between the part and her ear so the braid would run about right here. I'm actually going to make this a little bit off center so that it is closer to her ear and there's more space here up at the part. So I'm splitting this into three and then I'm going to be bringing the outside strands underneath the middle strand. And then as I'm braiding, I'm going to be adding in pieces from the top and the bottom of the braid. And again, as you can see, I'm bringing this down a little bit lower than I normally would. Now that I've braided that down a little ways, I'm going to remove half of the strand that's here on the left side. And I'm just going to place it out of the way and then add a strand in just like I normally would and go ahead and braid that under. And I'm going to do that twice. So one here and then the next time down I'm going to do that again. So again I'm just removing about half of that strand, placing it out of the way and then from here on out I'm just going to braid normally. halfway down her head. I'm just going to tie this side off for a minute while I work on the other side. All right, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this other side. I'm going to remove two strands from the braid and I want them parallel from each other. So I'm going to remove them in about the same spot if I can. Okay, so at this point you can see I'm pretty much straight across from that first strand that I took out. So I'm going to go ahead and remove a piece here. Okay, now that I have both of these braids tied off, I'm just going to take these two strands that I left out on each side and I'm going to make a rope braid with each one. If you haven't made a rope braid before, I'll just show you this real fast. You want to split the piece in half and then twist both of those halves the same way. I'm twisting them to the right and then twist them together the opposite way. So I'm twisting them together to the left and you just want to continuously twist those individual strands all the way down. I went ahead and braided all four of those rope braids. You can actually do more if you want. I just thought two on each side would be cute. So at this point, I'm going to take these and bring them into the center together and cross them and then just cross them one more time. So it's kind of like a double twist. And then I'm going to take a clip and clip one side down so that it will hold while I braid the other side. So you just want that held tight so that it's not going to move from the center spot. And then I'm going to continue with this Dutch braid and just add these two pieces in as I go. And you can just kind of look at your braid and decide where you're going to put these in. If you want to place them down a little lower, you can. Higher. I'm just going to try to make it so that it's kind of symmetrical with these top braids. to the bottom of that Dutch braid. I'm just going to continue this off with a regular braid and then tie it off. Okay, so this side is finished. I'm going to do the same thing over here and as I'm putting these in, I'm just going to make sure that I pull this tight enough that this little knot here is kind of centered over that part. <laughs> 